you're all here. Hope you're ready for a fun second act. I gotta burp. <coughs> oh my goodness. Woo! First of all, ah, uh, I want to give a shout out to Molly, little Molly Cass, Evie's daughter, who Evie says um, she can't see the world because of coronavirus. That's what her daughter says, who's nine. And they're meant to go to England in June, and now they don't get to. But they like to watch these shows. And I'll tell you what, Molly, listen, it's a bummer that we don't get to go out and see the world the way we want. But you know what? We've got technology, which is amazing. We've never had this technology before. We can connect with people still. And we, you know, have cocktails. You've got a nice little chocolate milk there, I'm sure. It's delicious. you got your mommy who loves you. And this too shall pass, Molly. So you stick in there, kiddo. All right? Mm -hmm. Oh, my chocolate milk is delicious. Ah, oh, wonderful. All right, kids. Well, I'm hungry. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm actually hungry. Can you, I mean, look at this waist. You can tell I haven't eaten in months, years, really. I've never eaten. But I think we're going to make something that might look delicious enough to put it in my mouth. It's time for a drag queen cook. So... All right, now yesterday or the day before, I don't know, time means nothing. We made some bagels for today's brunch, homemade bagels. And we're going to show you the video right now. Hey, all you moms out there, it's me, Schwab Potter. And today we are making some bagels, which my mom hasn't eaten since 1984. But they're going to be delicious. We're going to start with two cups of flour or 256 grams. Add a teaspoon of salt and mix those together. Make a little hole in the center. In the little pocket, we're gonna pour a teaspoon of olive oil, 115 milliliters of warm water, and one teaspoon of dry active yeast. Then we're gonna cover this up with a cloth and let the yeast get to work for about 10 minutes. All right. See, the yeast has started to bubble up a little bit. Now we're going to start kneading the dough in the bowl. You just want to incorporate the flour into the water. Flour your surface, jump your dough out. You want to knead the dough until it's elastic and smooth. You mad at the coronavirus? Take it out on the dough. We've kneaded our dough. We're tossing it back in the bowl, covering her up. We're going to wait 60 minutes so she doubles in size. It's been an hour and the dough's doubled in size. Woo, baby! Little balls. Who doesn't love a couple of little balls? Yeah. Happy Mother's Day. Sticking your thumb through there to make your bagel. Yeah, yeah! Bagels! Bagels for everyone. Drop your bagels into some simmering water. Cook them until they float to the top. A couple of minutes. Look at how big they're getting. They look so plump. Ooh, woo! After boiling your bagels, throw them on a sheet pan covered with a towel. Season them up. And we're gonna bake these at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes. Till they're golden brown. Mm. Homemade bagels, bitch. Oh, yes, honey. And look, here they are. Mm, delicious. And look at that. You want to see something special? We have upped our game this week. We've got a second camera. Turn it on. Will it work? <laughs> um, Let's see if the second camera will work. Well, we're just, we're going to, we're going to work on that. And in the meantime, I'm going to tell you what we're going to do here for a drag queen cooks, because we are making a charcuterie board. Yeah. You know, there's nothing I love more when I think about cooking than just cutting things up and putting them on a plate. You know, look at this. Oh, there's my, look at that. You see that? Look at that other, oh crap. <laughs> look at that view. 
That is nice. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. We are going to start with, um, uh, uh, well, can we just go, go ahead and go back to the board? And I'm just going to start putting stuff on it. You know, I'll show people the things. All right, here we go. We've got this delicious salmon. All right, that's to start. Look at that salmon. Doesn't that look nice? All right, mm, wonderful. We're just going to throw a couple of pieces on here. Now, the great thing about a charcuterie board is you can just do whatever you want, all right? You can put whatever you want on it. Maybe we go back to me for this. This is, this is we're trying out a new thing where you see me and you see the thing. And maybe we can tilt, tilt the screen down a little bit so you can see the table. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, a little more, a little more. I don't, you don't need to see my goddamn wig. Who cares? Not that much. All right, here, we've got salmon. We're putting salmon on the plate, all right? Delicious. Mom loves salmon. It's a favorite thing. Here it is. All right, now, next, we've got cheeses, okay? Look at these cheeses. Look at those, all right? This is a, a looks like a Gouda. This looks like, what, a brie? Yeah. This looks like a, a white poop, you know? It's actually a goat cheese. Oh, it's a goat cheese. That or a dog got sick and pooped. All right, great. Well, we're going to put, look at this. Bam. Done. <laughs> Done. No, just kidding. We're going to cut this up. We're going to cut this in half here. All right. Cut that in half. And now this is a Gouda. It's got that wax on there. You got to get that wax off of there. You don't want to eat that. It tastes like wax. You ever gnawed on a candle before? No? Well, thank God. Just throw the wax anywhere. It doesn't matter. You'll clean it up later. You're home alone and you're cooking. Now, the reason I'm making a charcuterie board today is because this is my mummy's favorite little snacky, okay? Kelly Potter loves a charcuterie plate. She loves a meat and cheese plate. And uh, she loves a, to, you know, just put things out there and let people snack on them, all right? So we're just gonna cut these up into some nice little cubes here. Perfect for crackers. Or for, you know, throwing at people. If you see them outside not wearing a mask, throw a piece of cheese at them. <laughs> yeah. Don't call the police. Just throw cheese at them. You'll be just fine. All right. So we've got the Gouda. Oh. Hey, all you moms out there. It's me, Squaw Pot. Oh, whoops. Oopsie. Um, all right. So we've got our cheese, our Gouda cheese here. Now, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I don't want either of these other cheeses, the goat cheese or the the uh, the brie or whatever that what is it? It's it's actually a blue cheese. Oh, it's a blue cheese. Well, I do want that then. I want a little blue cheese. Let's cut that in half. Oh, it's like your creamy. Ooh. Ooh, can you show it on the other camera? Sure. Look at that. Look at this. See that blue? Che you can see the blue in there. Isn't that nice? Oh, oh, I love this. And look how the camera. Oh, that's a. Fa I'm using my iPhone here. Look how fancy it is. Look, look. Ah. Oh! We are fancy here. I don't know if you can see that on the live stream, but we're just going to take this and we're going to set it over here across from that cheese, okay? Now, what I like to do with my charcuterie boards is I like to keep them even. So we've got some lovely salmon over here. We've got some cheese here. Let's show this on the other camera so we can see the board. See the salmon? We've got the cheese opposite each other. Now, let's put some meats on here. Look, we've got meats here, all right? It looks like a capicola, um, a, a, a pepperoni. A salami, a salasalito. I, I don't know what these are called, but I do know that they'll get in your arteries and kill you. Better than coronavirus. And it's delicious. So let's throw a couple of these on here. I like the look of these. They're nice and fatty. These ones. But they're, they're very thin. Much thinner than me. God, I wish I was as thin as this sliced meat. Look at how thin that is. Oh my God. It turned it sideways. You can't see it. So you put this here on the other side. See that? You want to even out your board. You don't want your board to look a mess, you dumb bitch. You want it to look great. Oh, and I'm, I'm trying to be more family friendly for, <laughs> for our kids out there, but it is difficult because I don't have a family. Just kidding. I've got a dog and you'll see him later. All right, we've got salmon, we've got meats. Now, I want to throw some grapes on there because, you know, why not? Look at how gorgeous they are. Put them right in the corner. See how nice that is? It almost looks professional. Like someone who knew what they were doing did it. <laughs> but they didn't. Next week's sponsor should be Aldi. Yes, all of these meats and cheeses <laughs> are from Aldi. 
<laughs> wonderful <laughs> because we're very poor. But if you'd like to tip us, Venmo at Drag Queen, we'll buy nice meats and cheeses at Whole Foods next week. Now, we've got our little bagels here. They're already toasted and they're already sliced. So I'm just going to put a couple on here just for, just for you know, the look of it, really. Even that, you know, just for the look of it, okay? And now, we've also got some crackers over there. I'll deal with those in a minute. What else do we have here that I want to put on here? Maybe one more, maybe a couple more of these meats because we've got these other meats, you know? Meats. All right, here we go. Put those right next to this meat. You know, the meats should be by the meats. And I like folding it over. You see how I'm folding them all over like that? It just, it makes for a better presentation. Isn't that nice? Uh, don't you feel like you're at a party? <laughs> well, I do. Cheers. <laughs> all right. Now, put an orange on there. Just right in the middle. <laughs> Look at that. Go to the other camera. See how nice that is there? Isn't that great? No, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. But we do have some nice ground mustard here. Isn't that lovely? And we're going to take that and we're just going to take a spoon and we're just going to put a little dollop of that right up here. I don't know why I put it so close to the edge. Now I'm going to have to shift things. But that's okay. You can do whatever you want. See how cooking is so easy when you just go with the flow. You just got to go with the flow. All right, this is a lovely stone ground mustard. Oh, it is ground and stone, just like me. Oh, wonderful. Now we've got some olives here. Let's throw some olives on here. You know, you want to have little things on your charcuterie, little bits and bobs. There we go, just a couple of olives, just for, just for the look of it. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Cooking is easy. Oh my God. Yes, the stone ground mustard is the best mustard in the world. Now, I've also got some pickles here. How about one pickle? You know, just for that, that one person who doesn't like olives. Just right on the olives. And if you really, go to the other camera. If you really want to get fancy, you put the pickle right in the middle. Put an olive there and an olive there. See that? Can you? Does that look like anything to you? It looks like deliciousness to me, doesn't it? Wonderful. Now, we've got some dried cranberries here. Just throw some on the plate. Just everywhere. Why not? It's your goddamn plate. You can do whatever you want. Just a few cranberries. Just for, No, actually, I hate that. I wish I hadn't done that. <laughs> that. That looks terrible. What was I thinking? What we're gonna do is move the cranberries over. We're gonna shift them over here. All right, there we go, that's bad. Oh my God, it looked just trash. Tragic. Here we go. Just a few cranberries. One cranberry went inside the salmon. Mm, not delicious. All right, next. Do we have any nuts? Yeah. Nuts? Oh, we've got nuts! Look, and I'm gonna put a few nuts here on the other side where the cranberries are. See that? Look at that. I think we should definitely leave the pickle in the middle there. I think that's the denouement of the piece. Um, yes, wonderful. And now what else do we have? Oh, we've got capers. We've got capers to go with the salmon. Oh my God, oh God. Oh, I don't know if I can get this open, hold on. You know that? If, if you can't open a jar, you slam it on the on, on the counter, the, the lid. Look, see, I know what I'm talking about. All right, now we're going to throw these capers here in the middle. Oh, those look delicious. They're very juicy. Be careful. You don't oh, see they're spraying. You don't want to get juice all over the plate. It's not good, but the capers are good. Oh, these are good. These are big, plump capers. Look at those. Can you go to the other screen for me? Look at these. Oh, they kind of fell everywhere. Look at these. You see? Mm. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Throw those on there. <laughs> Great. All right, what else do we have? Oh, that's not the right lid. <laughs> We've got cream cheese here for the salmon, but I don't want to pull it out because, you know, it, it's just, it's not pretty. I mean, it's a block of cream cheese for God's. You know what? Screw it. I want cream cheese with my salmon. Now, I'm not even going to bother opening it up. I'm just going to slice a section off, a little, there we go, slice right through that. You can pop this right back in the fridge, okay? And uh, and then you just peel this away. We've got a nice little brick of cream cheese here to go with the bagels and the 
the salmon and the capers, a little schmear. We can put it like this next to the, next to that guy. How's that looking? Let's adjust our penis. I mean, pickle. Here, there we go. How's that? Is that lovely? What else? Get rid of the cranberries. Get rid of the cranberries? No, the bag. Oh, get rid of the bag. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing because the bag's in the way. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Marcy says, a drag queen who knows things. I sense a new show, like Karnak, but even better. I don't know what Karnak is, but if it means someone's going to pay me to do a show, I'd love that. <laughs> Somebody call Netflix. All right. I think we're done. Is there anything else we want to put on this plate here? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it we want to. pretty good. Yeah, I think it looks delicious. We want to move some things. I know I was supposed to do that during the show, but I didn't. And uh, we're going to move this. We're going to move this. Take that. So we can give you a lovely view here of what we have left. Are you ready for this? Here's this. We've got crackers. Can you give me the, the, the other view here? There we go. Nice. Because I can't. There we go. Look at that. You see all those lovely things? Move that. Move that. Move that. Look, here it is. Here it is, kids. This is your charcuterie board for Mother's Day. Your mummy is going to love it. She's going to thank you. She's going to give you... Oh, she's going to give you... I'm trying to get it so you can see everything on the board. Look at that. Oh, it's... Oh, it's a dream. Look! Oh! It's easy. Now, it's the eating that's the hard part. Let's see. Anything on here I want to try? Oh, how about a piece of cheese? It'll be my first time. All right, let's try it. Ryan, can you help? Mm, 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 mm. I see what the hype is about. Okay, great. Well, let's just take one more look at the charcuterie board. You love that? You want it? Mmm, that's gonna be lunch later. Let's hear it for a drag queen cooks. Oh! Wonderful.